I'm back with another video and as y'all can tell or probably can tell by the title that it's gonna be another hair tutorial y'all about to do this hair and um yeah so basically what it is is I'm gonna have some bantu knots on this side y'all gonna see y'all gonna see all right so first things first since my hair is already wet I don't really need water but if you're doing this on dry hair just make sure you have a spray bottle on hand. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do is take my comb and part off a section where the bantu knots are going to go. Where do I usually put them? I think I do it on this side. Yeah, I do it on this side. So, just part a piece. Kind of do it on an angle. don't mind my pimples y'all I've been breaking out if you haven't watched that video my previous video my skincare routine you would know what I'm talking about but this part not straight at all okay that's better okay then part down It don't gotta be straight. This part don't gotta be straight because I mean unless you want it to be, but it's not that serious. But you want it thick enough so that you can make at least three bands or not. So I might have to make it a little bigger. Go back some more. You want a nice little chunk. Once you do that, we're going to move the big piece out the way because that's not going to take long. All you're going to do is just uh, perfect your curls. So if you can move that out the way. I'm just putting it in the ponytail. So this is the section we're going to work on. Okay. So what you're going to do is part this down the middle. And then move this part out the way. I'm gonna just bobby pin it back. Okay, so I'm just gonna bobby pin this piece back. Next, what you wanna do is I got my gel. I need to take my glasses off. Hold on. Just open it. Take your gel. And I'm gonna also use curling cream to help curl the bantu knots. So what I'm gonna do first is take the curling cream, put that all over that part. That was probably too much, but just rub it in your hands. Comb through with your fingers. And then if you got too much, just put it on the other side of your head. Don't waste it. Then what you do is you take some gel Just so that your edges will be nice. Hold on. Perfect that. I feel like this should be over here. Alright. Take your edge control brush. And just, you know, make sure you're good. Then all you do... It's twisted and just made me mess up. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Bantu knots. 
they not hard to do, but they not super easy. You think it's just, oh, just twist and wrap it around. But you got to make sure it's even. You got to make sure you're doing it right. Look at all that product. And, yeah, so they not hard to do, but they not easy. So then once you get done twisting it, just wrap it on around. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Hey. So that's what I'm doing here. She gone. So I wrapped it. <laughs> Wrap it. This is so ghetto. And then some people put rubber bands over it. I mean, I really don't. You really don't have to, but you can. Or bobby pin it, whichever one. I feel like rubber bands. Would be like I was saying, y'all. I feel like rubber bands would be easier, but you don't need them, like I said. Okay, so I took that other section out. And all you're gonna do is take your comb. It dropped. Take your comb and just part this section down the middle. Ooh. So then you'll have two parts. Then all I'm going to do is take that same bobby pin and move this out the way while I work on the other section. So basically you just do the same thing to that. So I'm going to show y'all what it look like when the bento knots are done. Alright y'all, so now that I'm done with the bento knots, they kind of look weird, but whatever. Okay, so now that I'm done with the bantu knots, I'm just going to perfect my curls. So basically what I'm going to do is just part little sections and go up. So I'm parting a back section and then ponytail this out the way. So just a nice little section. Taking my curling crayon, just about this much, and you just thoroughly put it through the curls. So, I'm just thoroughly putting that through, spraying some water. Just to keep it moist. I'm also taking my leave-in conditioner. I don't know if y'all can see that. Leave-in conditioner. Just one little pump. And then I'm putting that on behind here. And then that's how you get them cute little curls, you know? And if you want it even curlier, dim and brush. More defined curls. That's all I do to that. And then I just keep moving up until I'm done. I'm gonna speed this up for y'all.
I'm gonna show y'all what it look like when I'm done. All right, so oh, y'all, I'm done. Shrimp. They have chicken strips. Nice and curly. For with real? the little. Yeah. How many? Bantu nuts on the side. And now what I'm about to do is my right, edges. Can I get a cheeseburger and chicken? I'm about strips? to do my edges, y'all. Hold on, let me dry my hands off real quick. I'm not fat. I'm really skinny. <laughs> Alright. So anyways, I'm about to do my edges, y'all already know. She said she can't go. So I'm just going back over that one piece. Okay. Well, if not, she can go out. See, I... No, I was going to ask multiple people if they wanted to go, but I didn't want to be like, you can you go? And then they say, yeah, and then the other person say, yeah, and now like, what am I going to do? But now, who am I going to go with? Raven. So that? Yes. And she, asked, she, she asked if I wanted to bring somebody, and I said, yeah. So who am I going to go with? I'm finna go talk to her. And there y'all have it, y'all. It's just a curly afro. And then I got some styling on the side. I'll text you what I want. That's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Make sure you comment and subscribe and share. And just tell me some other things that y'all want me to do. Some things that you want to see. And yeah, y'all. That's the video.